All right, folks, we're back out here. Um, I'm gonna take this thing out for a ride, see what it does, see uh, what the footage looks like. That's what this video is primarily about, is what does the footage look like? Um, take it up by the river, fly it around a little bit. You'll see I'm gonna start to cover ways to make your footage look better. Uh, make a cheaper camera look more expensive, make crappy photos and crappy videos look better. If you're looking to step it up a little bit, you know. If you subscribe, click like, and uh, stick around, you'll see I have other videos that will explain how to set this up. And uh, also, a critical note to keep in mind, Page 34 of your manual for the uh, 700D says maximum of a 32 micro SD card. So anything bigger than 32 gigs will not work with this camera. Kind of odd, but, oh, can you hear the train? Oh, fiddle faddle. Listen to the train, very cool. You never know what you're gonna get in a live setting. That would be great for audio. It's uh, class U1. I'll actually put an attachment in the link below to Amazon. It's $7 for the correct micro SD card for this camera. I will also put a link for the spare battery because you're gonna like this drone so much that 20 minutes is not really a lot of time to fly if you wanna have some fun. So uh, I'll put a link to the spare battery. It's a little pricey, it's $50. But $50 is worth it instead of going out somewhere for 20 minutes and then having to go home because your battery's dead or having to charge because it takes five hours to charge this battery. So anyway, I'll get to it. I'll stop talking. We'll take this thing up in the air and see what the footage looks like. Give me a second. And we are bound. And there is a one button takeoff. I'm gonna hit the one button. It's going to take off and it's going to hover just in front of me until I tell the drone what I want it to do. This time now that it's hovering, I'm going to press and hold the camera button on the remote control and it shows me that it's recording. So let's take a recording. We'll fly this thing around and see what it looks like. far it looks so good, it looks pretty good. Um, the control is actually really nice. take this thing up high okay right now I am 50 meters high and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rotate the camera around and see what the footage looks like I'm also gonna take a few pictures from this altitude See the river? There's the river.
I mean, tell me what you think. I, I, it flies really good. I mean, it flies really good. The footage, I mean, you're not going to get 4K DJI or GoPro style footage on a $225 drone. <laughs> it just doesn't work that way. You don't get that high quality camera on a high quality drone. I will say this drone is high quality. The camera is not, unfortunately. If, if I wanted uh, an expensive camera, or if you want an expensive camera, I would start with the uh, DJI uh, Mavic Mini at $500 and, uh, or $400, $400 and uh, take it from there. But um, if the budget's not there and you just want to get up in the air and take, I mean, it takes great pictures. So tell me what you think, comment below. Here's a little bit more footage, by the way, before I go, but peace out and I uh, hope you subscribe. We're going to have a lot more content on here about video editing, sound, better sound quality, uh, lighting in, in a budget way. So you're not spending a ton of money on a ton of stuff that you don't need. If you want to do maybe a YouTube channel or how to channel or any type of photography or, uh, travel channel. Um, if you're if you're interested in starting a YouTube channel, this is going to be a great channel for you because I'm not going to recommend the $2,000 camera and all the gadgets that go with it that you don't need to make money off of you and affiliate links. So um, I want to be able to put people in business with a little bit of money and a lot of passion. That's all it takes. So thanks for hanging out with me. Looking forward to a relationship with y'all. Peace out. Later. Love you. God bless.